Welcome to the Home Energy Assistance Program Application Guide presented by San Joaquin County Human Services Agency, Aging and Community Services. The purpose of this document is to provide information on how to successfully complete an application for HEAP or free weatherization, tips on managing your energy bills and saving money, programs to help lower your household's monthly expenses. To get started, the Home Energy Assistance Program, also known as HEAP, assists with once per year payment of your electric, gas, wood, or propane utility bill. The program provides help with either propane, firewood, or energy bill, PG&E, City of Lodi Electric Utility, or Modesto Irrigation District. To qualify for assistance, you must reside in San Joaquin County, be a U.S. citizen or legal resident, have income that does not exceed the income limits, and be responsible for the energy costs in the home. HEAP assistance will not impact any public assistance programs you are participating in. The weatherization program assists renters and homeowners by installing free energy saving measures through minor home repairs to single family homes, multi-unit dwellings, and mobile homes. To qualify, you must complete the HEAP application and be HEAP eligible complete the weatherization intake form, renters must obtain landlord and owner consent, the dwelling cannot be for sale or in foreclosure. The weatherization program provides free energy upgrades and home repairs to eligible households and dwellings. We will now cover how to apply for energy assistance. The application packet contains all the forms required to apply for assistance with HEAP and weatherization. In addition to the required forms, supporting documents must be submitted with the application. To successfully process a HEAP request, the application must include Acknowledgement Form, Energy Intake Form, Statement of Citizenship or Non-Citizen Status, Account Holder Authorization and Consent Form. Be sure to have supporting documents ready. The next step in applying for HEAP and weatherization is to gather the documents to include with your completed application. Include all pages of your most recent energy bill or statement from all utilities, electric, gas, and or propane. Also include the past due notice if your services are shut off or are at risk of shut off. Include your proof of income for all household members. Paycheck stubs must be concurrent with no gaps in between. Please refer to the document checklist for a list of income types. Adults 18 years of age or older living in the household that have no income must complete a Form 43B Certification of Income and Expenses. Households with zero income must complete an additional form, LIHEAP Statement of Financial Support, and also include a rental agreement or mortgage statement, proof of last payment, and a recent bank statement. Include copies of your birth certificate or U.S. passport for proof of citizenship. For permanent residents, please include a copy of your permanent resident card or green card. Copies of both sides. Utility and income documents must be current for the last 30 days or no older than six weeks. Please submit copies. Do not send originals. Copies only, as documents will not be returned. We will now cover the forms themselves. We are starting with the acknowledgement form. This form explains the total gross income limits based on the number of household members. It also provides a list of items needed for submission. A request to attach all copies of utility bill. Copies of current income of entire household. Proof of citizenship status. Reminder to complete weatherization referral form. Acknowledgement, applicant will receive energy conservation information. Reminder that the application can be delayed if not complete. Application must have applicant's name, signature, and be dated. Forms can be located online at the sjchsa.org website. The weatherization intake form. Households approved for HEAP may also qualify for weatherization services. The dwelling may qualify for repair or replacement of a refrigerator, stove, washing machine, dryer, freezer, water heater, or microwave. Insulation, minor home repair, LED light bulbs, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors, 
shade screens, weather stripping, and much more. The energy intake form. This form requires the most time and detail. Carefully read each question. We will review the separate sections now. The form is broken into several sections. The top section on page one is the applicant's information, including name, service address, mailing information, and social security number. A phone number is requested as this assists the application processor if there are issues with the application. The middle of page one asks for specific information regarding the household members and income. This assists in determining the applicant's household eligibility. See the documentation checklist for details on proof of income. The bottom box of page one is to list all members of the household. If there are more than seven members, a separate piece of paper should be used to record that information. At the bottom section of the last box, if anyone in the household receives CalFresh, the box should be marked yes, and a passport to services printout or a CalFresh notice of action should be included with the application. Do not send originals, copies only, as documents will not be returned. Page two of the energy intake form requests specific information regarding the service bill, including if the applicant has had services shut off or received a past due notice. This is important as it could shift the priority process for the application. All pages, front and back, of the most recent bill or statement from the service provider should be provided. A 15-day or 48-hour notice is not a monthly statement, although the 15-day or 48-hour notice should be included if you've received one. WPO. This section is specifically for applicants that utilize wood, propane, or fuel oil. If they do not apply to you, NA should be indicated. The middle section of page 2 contains specific information regarding the energy sources used at the service location and must be completed. Lastly, the form must be signed and dated on page 2. Forms missing information cannot be processed and the applicant will be notified of missing information which could delay receipt of potential services. The Statement of Citizenship or Non-Citizenship Status for Public Benefits Form CSD 600. Citizens and nationals of the United States and non-citizens who meet all eligibility may qualify to receive services from heat and weatherization. Examples of acceptable types of proof are U.S. birth certificate, copy of a passport, permanent resident card, California Real ID, Note that the California Real ID marked limited term under the bear is not acceptable as proof of citizenship or permanent residency. Also note that the copies of both sides of the permanent resident card need to be attached to the application. Both sides of the form must be completed. Do not send your originals, copies only, as your documents will not be returned. The Account Holder Authorization and Consent Form if the applicant is not the account holder for the energy service provider, meaning your name is not on the energy statement or bill for the residence, an account holder authorization and consent form should be completed and signed by the account holder authorizing San Joaquin County Aging and Community Services and your service provider permission to communicate regarding the details of the account. If the applicant is also the account holder, this form does not need to be completed. How did you hear about HEAP? This form is used by Aging and Community Services to determine effective outreach methods of reaching applicants for HEAP and weatherization. Please take a moment and let us know how you heard about HEAP. The PG&E CareFair Program Application. These are PG&E discount programs that help eligible customers pay their energy bills. Over 1.4 million customers are receiving a bill discount through these two programs. Simply complete the online CareFera enrollment form or the form attached to the application, and the applicant will be notified if eligible. Here are some examples of billing statements and notices. Please submit both the regular bills and the 48-hour or 15-day notice with the application if you have received one 
all pages of your statement need to be submitted. The packet also includes information from the OIG, Office of Inspector General Hotline, which accepts tips and complaints from all sources about potential fraud, waste, abuse, and mismanagement in the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services programs. Every report received is important, however, not every submission results in an investigation. Hotline tips are incredibly valuable, and the OIG appreciates your efforts to help stamp out fraud, waste, and abuse. It also includes a copy of your rights under the Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program, HEAP, outlined in this document. There is also a documentation checklist, which goes into detail about what documents can be used for the application. Please use this important resource as you complete your forms. The next step is to gather the documents to include with the completed application. All pages of the most recent energy bill from all utilities, electric, gas, and or propane, including past due notice if services are shut off or at risk of shut off. Proof of income for all household members. Paycheck stubs must be concurrent with no gaps in between. Please refer to the document checklist for a list of income types. Include a copy of the birth certificate or current U.S. passport for proof of citizenship. Permanent residents will need to include a copy of the permanent resident card or green card, both sides of the card. Utility and income documents must be current for the last 30 days, no older than six weeks. Do not send originals, copies only, as documents will not be returned. Adults 18 years of age or older living in the household that have no income must complete a Form 43B, Certification of Income and Expenses. Households with zero income must complete an additional form, LIHEAP Statement of Financial Report, and also include a copy of the rental agreement or mortgage statement, proof of the last rent or mortgage payment, and a recent bank statement. A complete application packet and income certification forms can be downloaded from the HSA website. Individual forms or supporting documentation forms such as the CSD43B may also be downloaded from the HSA website. Applications and supporting documents may be submitted several ways. Through the U.S. mail to the Energy Program Office, a postage paid envelope is included with each application packet if the application was mailed to you. You can drop it off at the South Lobby of the Human Services Agency, located at 333 East Washington Street in Stockton, or by fax to 209-932-2649, or by email to heap at sjgov.org. What happens next? Once an application is received by the HEAP office, processing takes four to six weeks. Complete applications will be reviewed, processed, and approved for benefit. The applicant will receive a benefit letter by mail. The HEAP credit will appear on the applicant's bill in one to two billing cycles after approval. Incomplete applications will be reviewed and the applicant will receive a letter indicating what documents are needed to complete the process. Incomplete applications will be delayed in processing, and applicants should continue to make payment arrangements to avoid disconnection. If you receive a notice to turn in missing documents, please do so immediately, as delays can cause expiration of the documents already provided. Applications with 48-hour or shutoff notices will be forwarded to the Crisis Unit for immediate assistance. In all circumstances, you should please continue to pay or make arrangements to pay the utility bill to avoid delinquency or disconnection. If you are unable to obtain assistance through the HEAP program, please seek assistance through other resources, including the REACH program, for a one-time payment of a utility bill offered through the Dollar Energy Fund or the California Public Utilities Commission for assistance in advocating for services to be restored or for payment arrangements on a past due account. Be aware of how you use your energy and conserve. Information is available online on our forms page. Contact your service providers to find out about any consumer programs they may have available for you to participate in. We have information online on how to make a home budget. Located on our forms page is a fillable make a budget form that can give you an idea of where your money is spent. Having a home budget can make all the difference in managing household expenses. 
There are a number of energy discounts and tools to help you save and manage energy costs. Be involved in your energy bill by calling 1-877-660-6789. A pg and &E customer service representative can help you to review your energy usage and help you to compare rate plans to find the best plan for you. Enroll in CARE to save 20% on your energy costs per month. Apply for Medical Basin Allowance. The Medical Baseline Program, also known as Medical Baseline Allowance, is an assistance program for residential customers who have energy needs due to qualifying medical conditions. The program includes two different kinds of help, a lower rate on your monthly energy bill and extra notifications in advance of a public safety power shutoff. Sign up for bill forecast alerts to allow you to set a limit on the amount you want to pay per month and receive a text or phone message when your energy cost is about to exceed the amount so that you may adjust your energy usage. Enroll in budget billing. With budget billing, a free program from PG&E, you can average out your energy costs for more manageable monthly payments. Using your energy use history, PG&E will level out your monthly payment amount. So if your energy usage changes significantly from season to season, you won't see big spikes on your bills. PG&E will average your annual energy costs over the last 12 months to determine a monthly payment amount. Then adjust your monthly amount once every four months if your actual energy usage has significantly changed. The amount may go up or down. If you have additional questions on how to complete your HEAP application, please call 209-468-1500. Thank you.